comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. <laughs> dollar, dollar. All right, what is going on, guys? It's Russian. I'm bringing you guys the 10 things that I think you should return into Razendrak in order for the map to be a success. And remember, this is just my opinion, so don't get offended if I put something on here that you don't like. This is just an opinion. Anyway, let's get right into it. And this is in no particular order, so... But I did try to group them together just to throw that out there. Anyway, but I think we need more gun variety in Derazdrak. Because there wasn't too many guns in the box in Chaz Vival, and that kind of annoyed me. Uh, they need more guns and or... Some of the upgrade abilities, I think that would be really cool to add those in. Uh, but yeah, anyway, moving on to the next thing that I think we need is PhD Flopper. Flopper is a big, big part of zombies and always has been. It was probably one of the most loved perks ever. And even though you can't really flop in Black Ops 3 because of the sliding, uh, I would love to see a return just for the fact of the explosive damage. That would be so great, especially with the bow and arrow, that would be amazing. The next thing that I think that we need is an easy boss. Oh my god, we need an easy boss. <laughs> this is just something, it's one of the most important things on this list. It shouldn't take us half of a round to actually kill the boss, you know what I'm saying? And he shouldn't be ridiculously overpowered. We just need an easy boss. Plain and simple. The next thing that I think that we need is high replayability. Treyarch wants us to obviously play their map, but one of the big things for zombies is we're not getting maps after the game is, you know, through its cycle of a year. We're not getting maps for another couple of years, so we need to be able to play them for years to come. And that's something that really, really needs to be a big factor is can I play this for a long period of time and not get really frustrated with it? The next thing that I think that we need is a long, semi-complicated easter egg with no main ciphers in the easter egg. See, for a casual player, I don't think that a casual player wants to go through and figure out a language and go through ciphers to have to complete the easter egg. That's not fun. Especially to me. I don't want to look up ciphers either, <laughs> I'll be honest. The next thing that I think we need is a good, satisfying ending to the easter egg. See, and I always point out Moon because... When you finish the moon easter egg, you got to blow up the earth. How badass is that? Honestly, that's dope as fuck. And you got all the perks and you kept them for the rest of the game. How cool is that? That made me want to keep coming back and doing that easter egg over and over again. That's why I love that map so much. Next thing that I think that we need is easily accessible perks. I should just be able to open doors, turn on one power for the whole map, and get perks. You know, it shouldn't be any more complicated than that. And I don't want any elevators or have to turn on things in beast mode. I don't want to have to do that. Plain and simple. I think that's kind of stupid. And this kind of goes along those lines. The next thing I think that we need is an easily open pack-a-punch. My god, pack-a-punch shouldn't take me 20 minutes to do. Plain and simple. <laughs> Moving on, we also need a good wonder weapon. If you notice, every major map that everyone has universally loved in zombies has had a good wonder weapon plain and simple you just need a good wonder weapon kill things forever make it easy to get get it out of the box just fuck some shit up that's really all it comes down to and the last thing that i think that we need is larger corridors and or areas to move around slash run in i think that was a problem with shadows was the corridors were a little bit tight uh, the zombies kind of blocked you wherever you went, and that's not fun, you know, you just want to be able to move around the zombies and just get to where you want to go without having to individually kill them on your way to get there. Anyway, I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Uh, tell me what you guys think needs to return and or just be added to Dare Eisendrock for it to be good. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.